We'd like to welcome our final presenters with oral presentation number 30. It's New York City, New York Nest Plus M, Team 2, a Mission 8 flight experiment with fifth grade student researchers. Um, hi, my name is Maya Carey and I'm a fifth grader from Nest Plus M in New York City. My experiment title is, What is the Effect of Microgravity on the Bacterial Biofilm Formation on Soft Contact Lenses? Okay, proposal summary. A bacterial biofilm is a colony of cells surrounded by a substance that holds them together on a surface and is resistant to antibiotics. My experiment is about how microgravity affects the formation of these biofilms on the contact lenses. I got the idea for this experiment because both my mom and my sister were contact lenses and I wanted to know how microgravity would affect them. Based on the results from a previous investigation of, my, of biofilms of microgravity, I think that the biofilm growth will be greater in microgravity than on Earth. Experiment materials and handling requirements. I will be using a type 3 FME tube. The contact lens I'm using will have a prescription of negative 2.5 which is an average prescription. The growth medium I'm using is lactose broth, and my bacteria is Serratium recessans, which is a classroom safe bacteria, which is why I chose it. Um, the fixative I'm using is paraformaldehyde, which is going to preserve the biofilm structure. At the first opportunity upon arrival at the ISS, clamp A will be opened, and even though it says it's going to tilt the tube, we got feedback and it's actually going to be gently shaken to expose the lens to the bacteria. At the last opportunity before departure, clamp B will be opened to release the fixative to stop any further biofilm growth upon re-entry to a gravity environment. The question being investigated is what is the effect of microgravity on bacterial biofilm formation on soft contact lenses? Steps in the biofilm formation are first, planktonic cells adhere to a surface. Second, they, the cells form a microcolony. Third, they release a slimy substance that holds them together. Fourth, more cells start to join the colony. And fifth, they form a mushroom-shaped film called a biofilm. Experiment design. In order for the bacteria to form, I must grow colonies at 24 hours at 37 degrees Celsius. 30 colonies will be collected for the ground experiment and 30 colonies for the experiment going to space. Once the FME returns, I will measure two aspects of the biofilm. First, I will measure biomass using dry weight measurement, which is basically scraping the, bac the biofilm off the lens, putting it in sterilized water, and then weighing it. And I will also measure the viability using a live dead bacterial staining kit, which is once you stain the lens, the live cells and the dead cells show up in different colors. Acknowledgements, I'd like to thank my teachers and everyone who helped me. Where is the uh, Nest Plus M team from New York, uh, New York City? Who, who, where's your delegation? Are they over there? How many, uh, this is the, how many times has Nest Plus M participated in SSEP now? Is this number three or four? It's, it's three. So I, I just wanted to say something because this is kind of a window on the process. When we get three finalist proposals at the uh, National Air and Space Museum for review from each community, we had, um, uh, Stacy, how many uh, reviewers did we have for the step two review for mission eight? 24? It was something like 24 reviewers, and uh, they're here a whole day. They work really, really hard. And all of the reviewers are broken into sub-panels, and each sub-panel um, looks at experiment per finalist from three uh, communities. And I know that uh, when, whenever the three finalists come in, the review panel is looking very critically on experiment success. That's really um, the highest priority, experiment success. And sometimes there are three finalist experiments that come in where all three experiments have some level of weakness with regard to experiment success. And our reviewers then put on their, their instructor hats and try to figure out well, which one rises to the top and where we might be able to identify a solution for the weakness and get that back to the review panel. I can tell you that everybody was so impressed with 
with your uh, proposal, and it's Maya Carey. And there was this one weakness in your proposal. And the question was, remember, how many days did you have to address that? From the time that you got the comments back, it was like less than a week. It was four days, four days. And we were nervous, but, but based on the quality of the proposal that you turned in, we thought you were up for the challenge. And you came back with an incredible proposal uh, modification four days later. So um, I think your uh, future Dr. Carey, you did an incredible job.